So a while back, I made a video, and that is a Warwick with 77 deaths from the EUS server. He won the game. What? A victory? 077 and 1 Warwick won the game. And obviously since that video, people who have a lot of time have been trying to break the record for the most deaths in a ranked game. And recently we do have a new number one who holds this record, a Ramus with 132 deaths. I will point out, however, that this list seems to only include recent records or at least records for season nine because I don't see any of the old records that were there previously. To my knowledge, at least, this seems to be the record for the most deaths of all time. Who is this man? Well, he is a bronze two player from the EUS server. And there is the match and hold on. He won the game as well. 132 deaths, but still wins the game. You will notice it is in flex queue. Even though it's still ranked, it is a bit easier, especially in a five man. You'll also notice he had a game before where he had 110 deaths. For some reason, that didn't show up on the records list. So not too sure about that. Okay, let's see how this game went down. I can confirm he is in a five man. And he's, but the enemy team are complete randoms. Ramus troll lol. Everybody put your hands in the air. He started boots, so pretty clear what his intentions are. As he's going straight down mid again, baby. And that's the first blood. Oh, look at this 200 IQ. He put the pink ward down and he's going to TP to it. And he's just going to execute to Raptors. So he's not just going to run it down mid. Not even two minutes into the game. And he's already made it clear what his intentions are. He is going for the world record of deaths. I want you guys to understand that this game goes for an hour and 40 minutes. We are only two minutes in. So, this should be fun. Oh, this Nunu is making the plays in the bot lane and gets the kill. Whoa, how did they end up losing? The blue team, they're actually making the plays at the moment and they get another kill. They're ahead by 3k gold and Ramus is still executing himself. As we fast forward to the 13th minute, Ramus is still level 1, but this is about to be his 25th death. He's almost averaging 2 deaths a minute. If someone wants to be credited, come to our fountain and chain kill Ramus, please. I come. Ladies and gentlemen, is this the ultimate strategy? Convincing someone on the enemy team to chain kill you when you're worth absolutely no gold. <laughs> Did Silas just flash for a hundred gold? Well, here we go. Nunu is actually going to the fountain to chain kill Ramus. We will let you win after record. I think Nunu just got himself blackmailed because we already know who wins. I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. So, what this pretty much does is make the game a 4v4, and you can actually see that the red team, ever since Nunu started doing this, went ahead in gold. I think red team have come up with a 300 IQ strategy to blackmail the enemy team. Oh, Nico's going in nope. with the ultimate and oh, she just got blown up. No, we will let you win. We will surrender after getting the record. Ah, you, you kinda gotta feel bad for the enemy team. They got blackmailed in an hour and 40 minute game. 
and didn't even win. The enemy team were then able to convince both Nunu and Nico to go to the fountain to keep getting the kills. 80 kills more and that's good. Yep, don't worry about it. Just 80 more kills. It shouldn't take too long. Look at this. Nunu's changed his mind. He's going for the inib now. Can he get it? Diana is not going to let him get in. And she gets a 1,000 gold shutdown. No wonder they end up losing. Diana really fed now. We fast forward to over 50 minutes into this game. And most of the enemy team are actually convinced that they will surrender and get a free win as long as they help them with this record. However, 53 minutes in, the blue team are starting to get bored and decide to go for a win. Four of the enemies are dead. Malphite's the only one up in there. They're pinging the tower. The blue team, they do not care about the record. They want to get the victory as soon as possible. They may have done it the hard way. They get one tower. They almost get a second tower but they get blown up and that was another thousand gold shut down to someone oh boy there is back and forth blackmailing and lying in this game i can kind of see why the red team end up just going for the victory nico saying she just wanted the gold from the tower she wasn't actually going to end look at this blue team they are now going for the baron the big problem is they're on a ward they want to sneak a Baron to get an easy win. Surely that's their intentions. But here comes Malphite and here comes Vygar. This, this could be bad. This could be bad. This could be bad. And instead, are Red Team going to get the Baron? They will make sure they get the Baron. The game is a lot more exciting now because it's pretty clear that the blue team are pretending they care about the record. But in fact, they just want the win. Nunu once again has now changed his intention. And he's going to pick up the inhibitor. He's got a full 80 build. So he gets it pretty quickly. And, well, are they going to kill him for it? The frick is going on here in the bot lane as Nico just gets destroyed. Yes, they are going to kill him. We are now over 60 minutes into this game, and you can see what it has turned into. This is what happens when games go over 60 minutes. People, they just lose their minds. Oh, hang on. Someone's put down a ZZ Rock portal, and it was Nunu, and he's trying to sneak a victory. Is that going to get the inhibitor? No, he wanted the inhibitor. He wants to get the inhibitor so he can rush down the Nexus. Oh, my man, Nunu's making the plays with that item I don't even know the name of. But it's pretty clear. He does negative damage to that tower. My man, Nunu, is starting to put in work. He's trying to get all these inhibitors. He should get this one down. The red team didn't even notice. And he's going for the win now. Almost. Oh, look at this, look at this. Nico's pretending to be Silas. Silas is in their good books, but Nico, she wants the end, and uh, she's been spotted out now. And she puts down the ZZ Rock portal. Oh, she tried. Looks like she changed to a build that's supposed to get towers. I don't know. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, here we go. Nico's sneaking inhibitor. She gets it. So all three inhibitors are actually down. But the red team will get Baron. And they, they're pinging the Nexus. They're pinging the Nexus. Oh, Blue, who's doing this? Kaiser. Kaiser's pinging the Nexus and she goes down. My man Nunu again. He's back for some more inhibitor action. He gets blown up, but he does get the inhibitor with the ZZ Rot. Nico's the sneaky one. She's the one that's looking um, to try and end this game. She's going to flash over, but she flashes straight into a... Okay, she got deleted. Wow. Ramus now has 127 deaths. And he, what are we? We are 96 minutes in. The blue team are asking for a surrender. Uh, but they want to get 131st. One more death and it's going to be 130. This is going to be it. As it's going to be picked up by Silas. The Nexus is open. Are they going to end the game or surrender? Vygar is taking all three inhibitors from the blue team. They're going to look for the win. You can see a surrender vote failed for the red team. One to three. 
blue team have had enough. They want this win badly. Oh, wow. Look at all these minions. They need to save their base. Oh, Kaisa cannot do it by herself because her build is absolutely terrible for clearing minions. I see Ramus is coming. He's coming straight down mid. I don't think Kaisa can defend this. Uh, Ramus, he's going to end the game. 132 deaths, and he's going to end the game. Ramus wins the game all by himself. The man, the myth, the legend. That is how you prank the enemy team. You just die, 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 die. And then you take down their nexus.